To watch the first part of Canada's Wonderland Explained, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner of your screen. Canada's Wonderland Explained Since the inception of Canada's Wonderland, the park has continued to expand at a rapid pace. Because of this, the attraction now ranks third in the world in terms of the number of its roller coasters. This factor, as well as the close proximity of the park to Toronto, has allowed Canada's Wonderland to obtain a regular attendance of over 3.5 million guests per year, making it the second most visited theme park within the Cedar Fair chain. However, Canada's Wonderland wasn't always owned by Cedar Fair. In 2006, many of the attractions operated by Paramount Parks were purchased by the Cedar Fair company. As a result, Canada's Wonderland changed ownership and began to undergo large-scale changes. The park started with the removal of Paramount from their name, returning it to its original, shortened form. Over the next few years, the park also began to phase out the Paramount-related theming from many of the newest attractions. This included renaming the Top Gun, Tomb Raider and Italian Job roller coasters. By the start of the 2008 season, all relations to Paramount had been removed from the park. The same year, Canada's Wonderland constructed Behemoth, a B&M hypercoaster. The ride, which measures 70 meters high, can be found alongside one of the park's lakes, providing scenic views of the surrounding areas. After this, the park continued to expand and make regular changes. 2010 saw the retheming of the dedicated children's area to Planet Snoopy, resulting in the introduction of many peanut characters to the park. Shortly after, Canada's Wonderland constructed Windseeker, a 92 meter high swing ride, allowing guests to view the park from a whole new angle. Only four years after the previous large scale roller coaster investment, the park began the construction of Leviathan, a second roller coaster manufactured by Bolliger and Mabillard. Following several months of building work, the ride opened to the public in May of 2012. However, Leviathan was no ordinary roller coaster. Measuring 93 meters high, the attraction was the first constructed by B&M to break the 300-foot barrier, allowing the ride to be classified as a giga coaster. Leviathan also broke several regional records as it became the tallest and fastest roller coaster in Canada. The ride is loosely themed to a mythical sea monster, which can be seen incorporated into the ride's entrance sign. Overall, Leviathan is a fast-paced, airtime-filled experience, which is certain to thrill every guest at the park. As a result, it has quickly become the flagship attraction of Canada's Wonderland. On top of the debut of Leviathan, the park opened Dinosaurs Alive to the public, a dinosaur-themed walkthrough attraction. Guests can observe a mixture of the ancient creatures and even learn about their size and habits. Since Leviathan and Dinosaurs Alive, the park has seen a flurry of smaller investments. In 2014, Canada's Wonderland constructed Wonder Mountain's Guardian, an innovative blend of both roller coaster and dark ride. Guests battle their fellow riders using laser guns in the attempt to gain a spot in the mountain's hall of fame. During their journey, visitors meet a mixture of mythical creatures in a variety of thrilling situations. Besides Wonder Mountain's Guardian, the park has installed a diverse collection of new flat rides. These include Skyhawk, a Gerstlauer Sky Roller, Soaring Timbers, a Mondial Inferno, and Flying Eagles. The park is set to grow even further for the 2018 season. Canada's Wonderland is currently in the process of installing two new attractions, as well as expanding the Splashworks water park. At the start of the 2018 season, guests can expect to see Lumberjack, an inverting pendulum ride, as well as flying canoes, an interactive family experience. Because of regular improvements, Splashworks has also expanded drastically over time. The water park is now home to over 15 attractions, including a large range of slides and pools. Besides these thrilling attractions, Canada's Wonderland offers a number of interesting events. These include Wonder Jam, a celebration of Christian music festivals. The park will become host to many of the best names within Christian music for one day only during the 2018 season. On top of this, Canada's Wonderland operates Halloween Haunt, a seasonal Halloween themed event. 
during fall. The park is transformed into a screen park, fit to thrill even the bravest guests. Visitors can expect to see a multitude of spooky actors as well as intense scare mazes and scare zones. Although Canada's Wonderland doesn't have the most thrilling selection of roller coasters, it does house one of the largest collections in the world. As a result, the park has become a must-visit attraction for those particularly interested in roller coasters. On top of this, construction is currently underway for another large-scale roller coaster addition for the 2019 season. The new ride is sure to add to the park's diverse variety of attractions, which help to make Canada's Wonderland one of the most visited seasonal theme parks around the globe. A big thanks goes to Coaster Studios for helping to produce this video. Be sure to check out his channel by clicking on the Coaster Studios icon. Also, be sure to follow us on social media, the links to which can be found in the description below.